but along with the other railway buildings, it too is being demolished to make way for a shopping mall and townhouse complex. A London developer hopes to begin construction on this site in August. But last week, when the city imposed a bylaw to freeze rail land development, Samuel Fari began to wonder if the city was sending out an anti-development message. But he was relieved to learn that the bylaw only gives the city a chance to review any development over and above those in the zoning bylaws and the official plan. It's, it's just going to go one way. Whatever is going to be here is going to be better to whatever they have not right now here. The city has asked for a study on how to develop railway lands. It all depends on what the project entails as to whether it needs an unofficial plan amendment or whether it needs a zoning amendment. And then, of course, it goes to the public meetings. And from there, so we're looking perhaps early fall. Barry is anxious to get started. He says he has a grocery store interested in the mall, as well as the possibility of a new health unit. Jane Hughes, TV London News, St. Thomas. Language.